Hi everyone, my name is Chloe and today I'm here to do the book addiction tag. So I was tagged to do this by Sarah from Steeped in Books, so I will link her below as well as the original creator, but truthfully I probably would have done this tag regardless because it's just so fun and book addiction is real around here. So let's just jump into the question. Question one, what is the longest amount of time you can go without picking up a book? And truthfully, I think I pick up a book at some point every single day. I cannot remember a day when I didn't. Maybe the day I had my daughter, <laughs> that was probably the last time I have not picked up a book in some format, whether that be ebook, audiobook, physical book. Um, sometimes I go through audio phases where that's all I want. So I maybe go a little longer without picking up something physically, but I am reading in some form every single day. Question two, how many books do you carry on your person or Kindle at one time? So my t my typical is that I have a physical book going and then also an ebook or audiobook. I normally have two books going at once. So if I'm at home, I have those two that I am currently reading. But if I'm like if you're saying like how much do you take with you when you go, I always have my phone which has my Kindle app and I don't even know how many books are on there because my mom and sister and I used to share a Kindle account. Now it's just my mom and I. But she, we have Kindle Unlimited, so she puts a lot of that kind of stuff on there, and so do I. And she buys stuff, I buy stuff. They're like on our Kindle, I have no idea how many there are. So I always have a Kindle book, and I also utilize our library a ton. And so I have my Libby app and my Hoopla and all of that. So I don't know that I can give an exact number, but I always have something on my phone that I can read if I'm going to be out and have free time. Sometimes I'll take the physical book, but the past couple years I've had a diaper bag, which means like in little kids, which means I, you just have so much stuff anyway. And physical reading doesn't really happen when you're out and about anyway. Like there's just, I haven't had a situation where I'm out with my kid that I can physically read. So typically it's just my phone, which has Kindle and all those other apps. Um, three, do you keep every book you buy or receive or are you happy to pass them along? Now, I am not as good about this as I want to be. I would like to be better at unhauling, but currently the way I see it is I will unhaul anything that's like a week three stars or lower. Anything above that, I typically keep um, because I like the aesthetic look of having full bookshelves. And so if I really didn't enjoy it, I will pass it on. Or if I know there's no chance I'm going to reread it, I will pass it on. Also books like Homegoing by Yagasi, I started reading that and didn't finish it. And I was tempted to keep it so I could try again later. But I know so many people like that, that that will have a better home if I get rid of it. So um, kind of a mix, I guess. And I'm happy to loan them out if I trust you <laughs> that you will return it. So uh, yeah, that's my answer to that question. Question four, how long would you spend in a bookshop on a standard visit? Now, this varies depending on the bookstore. So if I, used books are my jam. So if it's a used bookstore, I can be there for a long time. Like we went to Nashville for my husband's 35th birthday. We, um, I surprised him. We went down there. His favorite whiskey is uh, Dickel and their like distillery is out near Nashville. We also have friends in Nashville and he had never been. So I surprised him with a trip to Nashville for his birthday. Well, selfishly, also near Nashville or in Nashville is McKay's bookstore. If you haven't heard of McKay's, please pause this video, get on Google and look it up. It is the biggest used bookstore I have ever seen in my life. And thankfully he took my daughter like they roamed around, did whatever, that because they also have like movies and games and that kind of stuff. So he roamed around with her and I could have been in there all day. Easy. I mean, that could have, like I called my sister and I was like, we need to make a girl's trip to Nashville and just spend the weekend in McKay's. But around here, like at home, we have one used bookstore and it's pretty small and they have kind of changed and are trying to be more like a new bookstore with less used. And so those I can typically go through pretty quick, but I'm a sucker for used deals. And so if it's got a bunch of used, I could be in there forever. Um, question five, how much time per day do you actually spend reading? Now that varies. Um, 
right now in this stage of life, the, my typical day, I get up and I have an audiobook going while I'm getting ready for the day. And I get up before my daughter and stuff. So I listen to my audiobook while I get ready. And then I go work out, watch YouTube, and um, then we'll continue to either physically read or listen to an audiobook until she gets up, which is not a whole lot of time. Then I will read again during nap time. She naps for about two hours, and um, normally I spend like half an hour of that doing like stuff that I need to do, and then the rest of it I'll spend trying to read. Sometimes it's hard for me to focus. Sometimes I fall asleep, but that time of day I read, and then at nighttime. I read and um, lately I'm here at the end of pregnancy and I have had very bad insomnia so I have been reading like four hours at night so the majority of my reading is at night before bed or in the middle of the night um, so I don't know how much time cumulatively I spend it depends on the day but I would say anywhere from an hour or two to five <laughs> I don't know um, question six where does the task of picking up a book appear on your daily to-do list? So I never put it on like a to-do list unless it's a buddy read or um, like something where I'm obligated to somebody else. So otherwise, I just do it when I have free time and it's an enjoyable thing. I don't make it like a uh, something I need to do because then I surely won't want to. So um like I said, if it's a book club or something that I have to read it by a certain time or a buddy read where I have to put a, do it by a certain time, I will prioritize that during the free time that I do have during the day, whether that be at night or during nap time. But otherwise, I do it because I feel like it, and so then it doesn't become a like chore. Um, question seven. How many books do you reckon you own in total, including ebooks? I do not know. <laughs> I know my physical TBR unread is about 250. I would say my read um, books are maybe 350. So whatever that is, like um, 600 books total, and that's fiction and nonfiction. And then I also have a, a whole middle grade bookcase. I have a small holiday bookcase, and then like I said, I have no idea how many are my e ebook Kindle app. So I have no idea. I would say probably um, like eight or 900 physically. I don't know. It feels like eight or 900 at least because we just moved recently and moving all of them is a bear. So I don't know. A lot. Um, question eight. Approximately how often do you bring up books in conversation? And this totally depends who I'm talking to. If I'm talking to my sister, Almost every conversation we have is, what are you currently reading? And so we talk about it constantly. Um, as far as other people, it just depends. If they're bookish, yes, we talk about it. If they're not, typically not. Um, if it's something I have learned from a book, then I will bring that up because I, I love nonfiction. And so if, if it like something I have learned applies to something, I will bring it up in conversation. But um, yeah, so it depends who I'm talking to. Um, nine, what is the biggest book page count you have ever finished? And for me, that would be the Bible. So we, uh, my husband and I read through that, um, four or five years ago, and that is by far the biggest book. We did it over a whole year, so it, it didn't feel quite as long, but yes. Um, question 10, is there a book you had to get your hands on against all odds? And truthfully, no, not really. Um, because I, like I said, loved used books, so I don't mind waiting for things. Um, I should have probably thought about this a little bit more ahead of time, but I do have some auto buy authors that I really like their getting their new releases. Oh, oh, I just thought of a good one. Um, the Winter Street series by Ellen Hildebrand, the last one, I can't remember what it's called, but the whole, it's a quartet. I think there's four of them. And I read the first three before the fourth one came out. Like I, I think I binge read like one, two, and three. And then the fourth one was just about to come out. And I was um, somewhere else. I was traveling 
and the library, like I needed it. The library didn't have an e-copy or anything. So I made my husband go and he had, he couldn't check anything out on my card because I had my card with me wherever I was. So I made him apply for a library card so he could be the first one to get the fourth one so I could read it. And now I own all four and love them. So that would definitely be one that I kind of jumped through some hoops and did some crazy things to make sure to get. Um, then question 11, a book you struggled to finish but refused to DNF. Um, I don't know because I am not big on DNFing. I love to finish books. I'm a completionist. I have a very, very hard time at putting down books. <clears throat> I just did a tag where I talked about Water for Elephants and The Martian. Both of those were very popular books that just didn't work for me. Um, but I did finish both of them. And uh, I didn't want to DNF them because they were so popular and so hyped. And with The Martian, I wanted to watch the movie. So I wanted to know if he got off Mars or not. But those two and then... Currently, I'm in the middle of The Bride Quartet by Nora Roberts, and I'm not really enjoying the quartet, and yet I'm still reading them. I just can't. I have all four on my shelves, and so before I can get rid of them or do like make a decision of what to do with them, I have to read them all, even though I'm not really enjoying them. I'm struggling through each and every one, and yet I'm on the fourth one. So I am not a good DNFer, so I could probably think of a million, million books for that. And then... 12. What are three of your main bookish goals for the year? And so my bookish goals are one to get my physical TBR down. Currently I have three book three shelves full of books that I've read and two full of ones I have not read. I would love to get it down to just one shelf of books that I haven't read. That one behind me is all full of ones I haven't read and I would like for that to be my only shelf that is my unread books. So that's a goal. I don't know if it's even doable in a year, but it's a stretch goal. And then also to continue to read after I have this baby. I am having a baby here in a month or less. Uh, by the time this goes up, it'll probably be down to a week or two or less. And so I'm having a baby soon. That means I'll have a two-year-old and a newborn. And I just really want to make sure that I continue to make reading something I make time for and something that I can get the free time to do. And so that is a bookish goal. And then um, also another bookish goal I would say is just to continue to participate in readathons, buddy reads, that kind of stuff. I love the social aspect of reading. I think it's just so fun to read something and then be able to talk to somebody about it. And so continue to do the, those kind of things because again, Life with a newborn is weird. It's hard. It's like you don't know which way is up or what time of day it is. And so continuing to do that for me and for my mental health, I think, is a very big goal of mine for the second half of the year here. So um, then I think it says to tag people, but I'm not going to just because I don't know who's done it, who's not. But And I would love to see everybody's answer to these tags. So if you're watching this, please do this tag because I think a book addiction is something we can all kind of share. It's 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 real, man. So uh, please do this tag. If you don't have a channel, please leave your answers down below. I will leave all the questions listed and we will talk to you later. Thank you. Bye.